What free things online should everyone take advantage of? Skiplag.com for flights. It's so good that United sued them and lost. They essentially exploit the pricing manipulation that airlines use. Example. If you want to go from Phoenix to Atlanta, sometimes a ticket from Phoenix to FT. Lauderdale connecting through Atlanta is cheaper. This website finds those flights for ya. Just don't check in a bag. If you're in the USA and you earn less than a certain amount of money, currently $69,000, you can use the same software to file your taxes for free. The system is called Free File, and companies that sell you tax software are trying very hard to make it difficult to find. Don't let them. Freecycle.org It's literally people giving away stuff they don't need, want any more that they can't, don't care enough to sell. Project Gutenberg. Lots of free classic books. If you have a .edu email through your school that uses Gmail, you get unlimited Google Drive storage. The Anki flashcard app for laptops is really dope for committing things to long-term memory and is free. Open Learn from the UK's Open University, free courses for all levels of study. Samples of university materials. Study skills ND tie-ins to BBC documentaries. Everything under Creative Commons license so you can use it as you see fit. Astronomer here. You can look up all the satellites flying over your house tonight, including the ISS. Hubble Space Telescope. Those pesky Starlink satellites. And whatever else your heart desires. Complete with star maps and precise timing. The website is called Heavens Above and there is an Android app. But unfortunately no iOS 1 last I checked. For iOS I use Sputnik. Which is free and tells me the ISS and Hubble passes overhead. It should be noted by the way that many if not most of these objects are visible even in a city if on a good pass right above you. So out and see some cool stuff, smiley face. NobaProject.com. It's a website that has compiled psychology topics into easy-to-read modules. They have been compiled by psychology university professors to help facilitate free education for students. You can even download the ones you're interested as a PDF as many times as you want. All of this is free. Library Genesis. A great place to look for and download college, university textbooks for free, as well as other books. Maybe not everyone, but for students Zotero is a lifesaver. It will store your sources, import them to a bibliography in whatever citation style you need, and even create in-text citations in your paper. It saves hours of work. Zotero.org If you use Reddit, Reddit Enhancement Suite is a must for desktop with a lot of QOL options not available in vanilla. Also if you are looking for ways to discreetly browse Reddit here are some good tools. MS Outlook it, makes the Reddit look like your email. MS Ward it, makes it look like a Word document. Code Reddit or Reddit Shell makes it look like code. Subdude, makes it look like a Wikipedia article. Stack Reddit, Reddit as Stack Exchange. If you use Reddit, never in my life. Here are some free certifications and courses related to almost every field. USPS and UPS both will deliver free packaging boxes, envelopes, bubble wrap, etc. to your house. Literally doesn't cost a thing and you can get like 50 boxes at a time. I'm going to save this like I have the other 100 useful Reddit questions I didn't know I wanted to be answered, and never look at it again. Flytrader24. It allows you to see plane traffic live. If you have a student email and you're into programming, IT get on board the GitHub student pack. A lot of free credit, tools, and trials for industry-level stuff. Last time this was posted, I learned about letterboxing fun, free, outdoor activity, atlasquest.com, Libby free library audiobooks and ebooks, get it in the app store and free meditation retreats dharma.org. I'm definitely saving this post. OneAuto.com. It is a car parts supplier, but their videos show exactly what tools you need, what parts you need, and how to do a repair yourself. Great money saver if you don't know much about mechanics. Someone I knew was going to get screwed by the mechanic 700 bucks for a water pump replacement. Show them that. They did it themselves for 30 bucks. It makes it quicker too. Knowing what tools you need ahead of time for your particular car. I agree they're not the best for parts. This was just about their videos. For parts. 
rockauto.com is great. If you need an item quicker and have an advanced auto nearby, order online and pick up in store. They almost always have a coupon online for at least 20% off, which you can apply and pick up in store around 30 minutes later, yet save quite a bit versus just going in and buying. For those that are not mechanically inclined and do not want to mess with it, use repairpool.com when you receive a quote and make sure the price is reasonable. It will give you a pretty general idea of what you should be paying in your area. It's not 100%, but will help keep you from getting ripped off. Unfortunately, there are a lot of shops that will take advantage of a situation. Not saying all, of course, but that way you will know for sure. Thanks for the silver, as well. Most large universities have their courses online for free. MIT OpenCourseWare. UC Berkeley used to have 20,000 videos of their courses available for free online, but two employees from another university removed them by suing under the Americans with Disabilities Act complaining that they didn't have closed captioning and therefore discriminated against deaf people. All 20,000 videos were deleted. The Noonproject.com has a wide selection of icons. I use them for presentations. Z Library. Millions of free books and articles in multiple formats. You can download up to 5 books a day without an account. And up to 10 if you sign up for free. It's a really great site. Canadians get a free Canada flag that was flown on Parliament Hill. Only a 40 year wait though. U Block Origin. Best ad blocker by a mile. Websites are 95% ads and 5% content nowadays, but U Block brings balance to the force. Works on all browsers, even mobile. Archive.org has lots of old but free content. For example, a lot of DOS games. Directly playable through the browser. Top Class Actions basically a site that lists active class action lawsuits you might qualify for. I've used it for trivial things like suing Red Bull for a free case because it didn't give me wings but on a serious note. It made me aware of the suit against Equifax for leaking my data. That should be a settlement worth over $100. It's a cool way to hold corporations semi-accountable and score some money, freebies for any wrongdoing that went under the radar. I recently found this from another subreddit, melody.ml. Use it. I swear, you can isolate vocals, drums, bass from MP3. You'll need an email address to download the isolated files. Instead of using my own email I just used a 10 minutes mail and downloaded it that way. Today I isolated the vocals from a song and it's surprisingly in good quality. But you only can use it from desktop. It's not meant for mobile use. Enjoy. My 90s TV. This is more of a novelty website, but I think it's pretty cool and you can lose yourself for hours with nostalgia. It basically uses YouTube videos to simulate watching TV in 90s and you can specify what year you want and what categories you want to see when you change channels. There is also a My 80s TV and a My 70s TV. Terms of service. Didn't read. A free site for people too lazy to read the entire to s. This is a crowdsourced project so please do contribute if you can. Unsplash is where you can get free photos of just about anything, provided by the photographers themselves, to do with what you like. Ninike.com, one place to select what you want installed, without all the hassle. I use it for freshly formatted PCs to reinstall everything. Photoforensics.com, wanna know if that pic on the front page of Reddit is Photoshop? Takes some skill to learn how to use but they have tutorials on the site. Dolly Parton's Imagination Library if you have a child younger than 5. The send an age appropriate book once a month. It's amazing. I have so many books for my daughter since I signed up and she loves getting them in the mail. Sci-Hub. Endless free college books. Wikipedia's reading lists. The article itself often holds a pretty good collection of relevant information, yet for in-depth research it can be hard to find proper literature. Wikipedia always quotes their sources which often are the most relevant for a topic. Unless you aren't researching for your PhD, you can save a lot of time in literature research.